The thing about public art, you don't come away with anything. You come away with the experience. None of the projects exist any longer, so, I mean, that's one thing that connects them all. He's one of the great artists of the world out here to do this wrapping project. The media went off its head about it. It was just vilified and laughed at. You can't see it as a work of art. No, that work of a man. And then one dreadful night, a storm came. I remember, there was a, like a nightmare. I defy anyone standing in front of that work not to feel affected by it. The only way to understand your body and your mind is to take risk. The idea is we made ourselves the living sculpture. Underneath the arches, I dream my dreams away. How do we make people's presence in the gallery felt and known forever? I wanted to make a kind of reverse exhibition. I mean, this could be fantastic. Another idea I had was that the, the world's longest straight road. I wanted to put a bend in it. But I think they thought it was too dangerous. <laughs> True liberation for the artist is outside the art world because the only thing that matters is effectiveness. If you go to it and you come away with more energy than you brought to it, then it's really, really worked. I just got in here a note to check if you'd had any thoughts about the title. It's something to do with sandwiches. It started with oh, a stale yeah, sandwich. Oh, yeah, it started with a stale sandwich. Yeah. I, I love it, but I think the gallery would get indigestion. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs>